sponsored by Chapman Apartment Homes. He's from Ellington, Connecticut, driving car number 41, Tyler Chapman. We won back-to-back -back two wins for last races, get the championship, hopefully win as many races as we can, hopefully get a dial in for practice, and then heat race and hopefully win the race. Brian Sullivan, a former champion, off turn number four. They are side by side as they come to the stripe. Wow. Brian Sullivan by five one thousandth of a second yep. over Tyler Chapman. Yeah, you can kind of tell in the car by tires because I'm looking to see who got it. I could tell he won it. It was either uh, make some contact and rub against him. Maybe, maybe I can get the win or race clean and have a good rest of the year, which he had to do for that one. But we've got trouble. Trouble. Haley DeZonia goes around in front of most of the field in turn number two. I think I climbed over the back of uh, Nick and Glace. Uh, my car is fully off the ground, and that, funny enough, I actually did not realize my car came off the ground till we watched the fence line film in car camera, but uh, we realized there was a whole bunch of bent suspension parts in the car. Oh, what happened to Tyler Chapman in turn three? All of a sudden, that car just slowed. We were warming the tires up, and uh, we didn't make it to the start finish line. I think the tranny kind of crapped out, um, and which is probably a good thing before the green flag. We would have got ran over for that one. It is shown as Tyler Chapman. Oh, Ty Bob Chapman Charlene. goes around in turn two. Gathers it back, though. Well, tries to. Bob Chalain, the leader. Oh, trouble. Down the back straight away. Asper goes around. Another one of the Chapman cars underneath the Monaco Ford billboard has come to a screeching halt. It's Tyler. He ripped the right front off, uppers, lowers, shock, all that. We're not so. If I can remember correctly, I think I won the next race after that one. Tyler Chapman is looking for a home run. He's had a horrible last three races yeah. before heading into Friday night. I mean, man, that car was flying on Friday. He pretty much went wire to wire. I was, it was cool. It took longer than we thought. Hope, we were hoping for like a winner right off the bat before wrecking, but I definitely put us in the right direction. Dog fight battle for the lead, and guess who's there? The Mad Dog, short-lived. Chapman is there. As they come back to the line, White flag is out. Final chance if you've got anything. You'll throw everything at it, including the kitchen sink. They come off the turn. Tyler Chapman to take down the win. He roughed me up and I roughed him up back. It was just some good, good racing on that part. Um, it's just whoever crossed the finish line first, don't wreck. It's kind of just see if we can get to the front first without wrecking all four tires in the car. Quite a bit driver is kind of put yourself in a, in a good spot. You don't want to put yourself around a bad car because you know what you think they're going to spin out or something. Um, but definitely, you want to eye his head, make sure no one's loose or tight or pushing. He looks down low. He gave Chapman a shot down the back stretch. He's on the apron, trying to find a hole, but he can't do it. The Monocle Ford SK Light 30 goes to Tyler Chapman. I shouldn't have won that race, but I held him off for the whole 30 laps. Uh, the car was wicked tight, but we managed to pull the win. We had some good races at Stafford and Thompson, so we were definitely knew we had to race like carefully and not too careful. It was definitely fun racing with someone you know that's not gonna wreck you. I didn't really look at points after that 40 lapper. It kind of just put us back. We weren't really in contention. We were, I think we were 60 points behind. So unless, say that the top cars wrecked, then I would look again, but I didn't really look at, look at points as much as last year. Tyler Chapman has other thoughts though and looking to make it three wide for the top spot in car number 41. Tyler Chapman pulled off perhaps the time next time we move to the event. Well, you just gotta push the guy in front of you and hopefully he pushes up and get around him. Off the turn, they rumble back to the line. It is Tyler Chapman to take down the win. We were gonna do it before, um, but initially we didn't get it our act together, yes, and then we did it for the last race just to see what car is better because that's a different kind of car, different setup and whatnot. Off turn number four, double checkers are waving. Tyler Chapman will take down the win. Just like last year, it's about the best way you can end the year without winning the championship. We need to win more races. We want to actually get the uh, all-time winning Escalade Driver Award, so I think we need diamond wins for that one. Yeah, I'd like to start out by saying thanks to the sponsors, uh, Chapman Farmer Homes, Brian, Paul Arcare, Paul Arcare Motor Sales, uh, IMC Manufacturing, uh, Napa Tallinn Center Machines, Smith's Auto Truck, Jay Regals and Hometown Pizza, uh, Back Road Smoking Barbecue, Short Track Baker, Competitive Edge, Keith Rock Racing, Rad Auto Machine, Buzzy, Casella Ways, Fenceline Films, Waddell, Emily from Gassens Racing, Critical Signs, and uh, John Holland. I, I like to thank all the guys too for getting us back out there when we wreck. I like to thank my uh, mom, dad, both my brothers, Brian, Rick, Robbie, Chris, Jim, Glenn. 
Kerr and RJ. Um, all contingency sponsors, uh, Mayberry Material Handling, JR Recovery and Trucking, Gas and Racing, McKinney Construction, American Sign, Olson Apartments, The Roofers, and New England Racing Fuel. We actually don't know yet. Um, hopefully get this car back and rolling again for the Victory Lane. Um, but hopefully just go back in 2024 and win some more races.